What's up? Welcome back to Modern Traders. I'm Ben. I'll be your host. Before we get started, I want to invite you over to the free Discord. We do daily callouts, watch lists, Modern Traders LLC on Insta and ModernTradersLLC.com. We do put a lot of work into trying to get these videos out for you almost daily. So if you get anything out of it, please do remember to like and subscribe. Get us a little love with the YouTube algo. So this week's going to be very significant as far as earnings are concerned for the EV industry as a whole. We got a pretty saturated earnings week for EVs uh, with every facet represented from the EV automakers, EV retrofitters. We got the uh, charging station companies. We got the uh, electric bus makers. We got the uh, Luminar representing the uh, laser guidance systems for autonomous driving. We got uh, Root for the insurance aspect, auto, uh, used auto sales. For some reason they left off candy, iro, and green power, which I think are important, so I went ahead and added those ones. But while I was doing the research for this for the group, I noticed a pretty uh, neat phenomenon throughout the EV industry as a whole. is just over and over again these uh, wedge patterns and descending triangle patterns forming. You see here with uh, Romeo pattern, uh, Romeo power, very beaten down stock, sub $7, coming to the end of that will falling wedge. Uh, Lightning E-Motors, same general setup, um, oversold after SPAC merger coming to the culmination of the wedge. Uh, we see uh, Go EV, that's uh, Canoe, I've done another one, same scenario, uh, Proterra, electric bus maker. And just over and over again throughout the EV industry, you see these beaten down companies, if the chip shortage didn't get them, then some other impediment has, and they're all primed for takeoff. Most of these are decent companies that have uh, profit potential and should be growing. Uh, Lion Electric, another one that's gonna uh, benefit from the Biden infrastructure spending for electric buses. Veladon LiDAR uh, got about 300% of upside to return to recent highs. Uh, and this is one that will be hopefully seeing some sympathy from uh, Luminar earnings. Uh, Arrival is a company with a micro factory strategy that it seems like a pretty uh, surefire route to profitability. Uh, QuantumScape obviously ran up uh, too much right away, but has since cooled off uh, substantially. It has 500% upside to return to highs and at least a couple hundred percent to return to reasonable levels. Uh, new, probably my favorite of the new... Uh, EV charging station is the only one I don't think is overvalued really, but uh, forming these uh, flag patterns as well. And what all these have in common is that they're all uh, consolidation patterns that result in a breakout typically to the upside if it's in a sector that's beaten down as the EVs. And it would only take really one of these uh, companies to have some kind of a stellar earnings beat that could set off sympathy plays throughout the entire sector. So it's all really going to be on watch this week. Uh, particular interest was ChargePoint, which I highlighted last night for the group, and we did see that take off today, as well as Candy, uh, which reported earnings in the AM. And while we are watching for uh, short-term plays here, that the bigger picture is that, I mean, as the group will attest, I'm constantly preaching that the automotive industry is going to rotate obviously and inevitably into ev from oil and we're going to see that just take all the capital and available money from oil and become the giant in the automotive industry and we do see a constant uh stream of catalysts uh you see more electric cars uh sold in the last seven months than all of last year uh see uh headlines talking about um, uh ev sales outpacing uh diesel uh, again apparently uh even uh russia is planning to subsidize electric cars to spur demand and we do see uh, any kind of negative catalyst satirized and made a joke out of, like this one here, uh, obviously not going to be taken too seriously. And uh, the biggest catalyst of them all for the sector in general, of course, is uh, Biden's uh, infrastructure plan and uh, recent call for 50% of EVs, uh, of all autos manufacturers, to be EV uh, by the year 2030. And also in the near term, uh, 500,000 EV charging stations to be installed to uh, add to the infrastructure for EVs in general. And we uh, see fun headlines like this, but they uh, remind us that while we see this rotation into uh, EVs, we're going to see peripheral companies as well come into quite a bit of capital. Um, the mining companies for the rare earth metals are going to continue to grow along with the sector. We're going to see uh, new uh, niche sectors pop up as well. Um, you see here the recycled batteries is now an idea, which uh, PDAC uh, SPAC company merging with Lifecycle to recycle uh, lithium ion batteries, one of my favorites in that fledgling sector. And it's also important, uh, I see a lot of people referring to it as if it's a uh, oil automotive and EV automotive industry are two separate things, but you gotta remember that it's in one industry, it's the automotive industry, period, and it's just gonna change from oil-based to EV-based, but we're still gonna see the big names um, are gonna, for the majority, are gonna thrive in this uh, EV environment we're going to see uh like i said ford uh gm we've seen quite a bit of run up in the last uh nine months to a year but they're still at pretty reasonable levels 
Um, even so, uh, companies like uh, Volkswagen, which recently reached uh, meme stock territory with its uh, ridiculous run-up last year. But uh, got to keep in mind that these uh, what they're calling legacy automakers are going to be a big part of the EV industry. We're not going to see all these growth companies take off and become behemoths. And of course, we've got to factor in Tesla, uh, the granddaddy of the sector. But you know, don't get me started on Tesla, <coughs> overvalued. But uh, <laughs> just uh, something to keep on your radar, guys. Big picture and short term. Till next time, I'm Ben. It's Modern Traders. Thanks for stopping by.